Hello everybody, this is Minnie. Um, when we last left you, we got all this done here on the C1. Um, I'm going to move some stuff around just for a few seconds. Alright, my intentions today, um, now that we got these fenders in here, we got to radius them out. So I glued those in there like that. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take my a barrel sander like this. I gotta change my collet too. And I'm just going to follow that trim and get that out of there. Um Hey what's up Lou? Hope you're doing well, bud. Hey, what's up, Dave? All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm taking, I'm just taking this barrel. I'm just going to take the barrel sander, and I'm going to flush out the body um, from when I put these flares on. I'm going to flush the body out um, into these curves. Just getting that radius just enough. I'm not trying to go too far in it. I'm going just enough to get it even with that resin. Just even enough to where now it's, you know, you don't have none of the body showing through. Come on, focus. So now we just got all that. And then I'll take my regular. That out of the way. I have some regular sandpaper. I was doing another project earlier for my bench. Um tech thursday so i got all kinds of stuff up um it's just an old it's an old old dremel i've had this dremel um probably 20 years um it's a corded one um I, it's not one of those cordless ones um i like the corded one um more to me i think it's more controllable and it works when I need it to. I ain't got to worry about getting it charged up. Hello, Mr. Blackwell. Uh, see you bought you a new car. How you liking that car? Alright, so now I got that radius. What I want to do now is, um, well there you go. So it's like you both got a new car. <laughs> what I got to do now is, I want to, get this bed. 
I want to get this bed thing together. Hey, Hurricane, how you been, bud? I was playing football with the kids at the bus stop this morning. And got a arm hurt just a little bit. All right. So on this, where's my instruction sheet? Since we radiused this, guys, I'm going to... I usually don't open decals, uh, decals, um, instruction sheets <laughs> very often, but this here has a different, a bed, a bed style I've never, um, yeah, I really like that color blue that you're using, that tealish color, Jody. Um, so right now I'm going to build this bed to see if I have to modify the bed at all, um, for this. <laughs> what a dumb, yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, Lou, stop picking on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting up there, ain't I? Trying to stay in. Trying to stay in shot. Yep. Hello, Pete. Yeah, but 67's like the new 65, ain't it? So I guess what I need to do, this right here sets up in there. Oh, okay, that goes above the body. Okay. So it's looking like it sets like this, fellers. Let me get this out of the way. Let's get this right here out of the way and we'll be able to see more. Yeah, that that sucks. Especially when when you enjoy something for so many years that you have to cut back on because of age. That's a that's a rough one to swallow. So any of you guys got plans um, for the weekend? May all be stuck working, um, getting ready for the 4th of July. Um, business should be picking up here next week. I know 4th of July is, is a couple weeks away, but we usually stock our stores 11 days out. So looks like that's where I'll be. Do you guys ever want to see some great, great tuner builds? MC that just joined us, he can build some great tuners. Um, very well detailed. I don't know how good um, his English is, but he's very, he, he got a masterful art. It looks really nice stuff. Thank you, Mint. Oh, hello, Gee. 
I know I'm good, sir, and you. It's um, getting to be about 9 o'clock at night where you're at, brother. Um, what I done is I put the body panels on this since the last time we talked. And what I did here is I had to radius it to match these arches. And before I continue, I'm going to test fit the bed to see if there's any... Um, anything that we need to um, modify before we get um, any further into the build so that's what we're gonna that's what we're working on right now um, so basically we've gotten the resin most of the resin items on it <laughs> Uh, you can ski though, uh, third uh, third gear. <laughs> you you don't you maybe not surf, but you can ski. <laughs> yeah, well, well, Jonathan, I hope um, I hope you um find stuff that you can use. Um, you know the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Um, but maybe I can give you a different way to look at things. Working, um, you know, I, I work really close with skilledworld.net, um, pitching ideas and, and things back and forth off of each other. Um, that's who this build here will be for, skilledworld.net. Um, hey, what's up, Skyler? Um, hope you're doing good, buddy. Thanks for coming in and joining me today. Um, um, we also work close with, um, Chip Raymer from, um, um, extreme scale detail um, him and his wife it's a little business that they have um, you know when we sit back and we pitch ideas back and forth from each other um, just something that a lot of builders in the community do um, and and a place of a, a, a place for um, encouragement also but man I'm getting real excited um, later on this year part of the Chevy cheeseburger top 10 um, we're going to be doing the, everybody that enters has to build the same kit. We just get to put our flavor on it. So, you know, as soon as he picks the kit, we can all, um, either if we already have it or we can go purchase it. Um, he's trying to think of a kit that's more along the lines of something anybody can get regularly, like at Hobby Lobby or, or you know, something like that. Um, outside of Mr. Blackwell here, Jody, unless Jody... Um, is in Costa Rica. I'd hope to. See, I would like to see Jody get into the same kit build, and basically we all just build the same thing, um, put our own take in it, and then we enter it in the monthly um, top ten that um, Chevy sponsors. Um, it's a great. It, it's great fun, guys, and I just can't wait to do it where we all build the same kit. I think that would be great. Um, what I'm gonna do is. Get all this stuff cleaned up. Where'd my other panel go? Guys, I got my workers on and the desk. Skylar, do you work for Hobby Lobby? Or do you just work for another store? I, for, I forgot where you work. Yeah, kicking wing. <laughs> oh, you're a great kid, Tyler. Uh, you're a great kid. Just keep it up. Well, Gee, I like uh, I like what you post when you post up on um, the ISM. You know, keep everybody um on the ISM the a page that me and Gee are are part of. It's right here, guys. Um, they have a section. On Facebook where you can post up what you're working on and um, and they also have a, a web page um, international scale modeler also um, you guys can go there or on the Facebook page and they have threads posted up of items that you can work on um, now there's not a whole lot of car builders over there um, but there's a, a bunch of great stuff being built 
and shared over there um some great stuff and it's a compliment to have gee you know mention that he just he he enjoys watching me build because he's a he's a big part of the ism guys he does a lot for them um in the shadows that a, that a lot of other people don't get to see yeah sam builds some great cars don't he gee So right here, I'm just going to put a little bit of the trusty Tamiya in there. Give it a little set. Guys, this right here is a glue that they, the guys from the ISM, everybody was using, and I started using it. Um, the first one I seen using this is Freddy Dierte. Um he runs over there with the amigos over on the amigos page on facebook um one of my favorite um cockpit builders um his attention to detail is great and i teased him because um um but he probably has 50 bottles of these i'm not lying he opened up he'll open up his uh model desk and he's just got drawers full of this uh to me extra thin and i hadn't used it until a few months ago and i thought you know i'll, I'll go ahead and give it a try and man it, it's a great um it's a great um, just use it as you're building don't use it on painted parts and and stuff like that Yeah. If that's a man glue, Skylar, what are you doing using it? <laughs> um, every Friday night, Skylar, um, you guys see in here, 8 Second Speed Shop, um, they do uh, a live hangout, um, and it's mostly model, model car builders. Um, you'll have Clifton, um, you have Fred Henry, which is Pappy, um, he gets in there, and it's great fun, and I give Skyler, um, at least some kind of silly comment, at least once a night, or, or once a Friday, um, good kid, works hard, and he's eager to get better, and he's learning, um, he's got some great teachers and some great support over there, um, him and Young Model Master do the, um, live hangout so you guys can um join you can you can join in or you can just sit back and follow like you guys are doing with me today and usually that's what i do i don't jump in and, and join um i just got some other things to do family and you know um tending to the kids and stuff getting them ready for bed um but i i, I get on there and follow along um great group of kids uh older gentlemen too in there like um, Pappy and, and, um, Cliff, Clifton, um, that's just if you ain't doing something on a Friday night, hanging out, like right now, it's, it's, Gee is about 9 p.m. where Gee lives, um, so sometimes hourly conflicts get in the way, and, you know, you can't, attend everything yeah but I, I, I uh... oh 10 p.m. yeah cuz it's 314 here gee I thought you were six hours
I seen um I seen my friend Tom Jackson uh over there on Facebook. Guys, he's got the new suburban. Um his hobby shop has the new suburban in already. Yeah. You don't get you're not getting no rain today, uh Skylar. Um we've been getting um it's been showing storms coming um from your way over over to the Midwest. So we're expecting some storms. So I'm surprised you ain't had no storms yet. Okay, now basically what I did, guys, I just built this tub. Yeah, we was in the high 90s. Um, we were in the high 90s today too, Josh. Um, if you guys ain't subscribed to Josh, um, go down there to Raise Miss Designs. He builds a little bit of everything. Um, like me, he took the step. Of getting into some figures and he's built a lot more than I have but you know it was a new venture for him that he um, went in there and tried out and enjoys and he, he keeps building um, he does a few other things you know what it it works now I'm gonna tell you I, I used to use here's the sets of glues that I use guys um, the instant set is my go-to for body work and for, you know, most everything else. Um, this tech glue will bond and hold this and keeps enough strength to it to where I can get in and out. Um, I can get in and out without damaging. Um, and then I've used this um, fuller, fuller glue. Um, now I got the faller. Um, when I was getting this, I was getting this from uh, uh, an overseas company. Um, you can see it's in Czech and you know and some German here. Um, but now eBay, but now eBay is selling it, so you you can pick it up too. Um, and then here's the Tamiya. And then I was using Pro Weld. Um, now Pro Weld. Oh yeah, I was there. Um, we must have just missed each other. Um, yeah. Gee, I can't read Dutch, brother. I have to leave that up to you. But when when I bought this, I was ordering this. And this right here popped up as, you know, something that they say um, you can try. Yeah, or they, you know, like suggested, it'll say people who bought uh, Ambroid have also bought this so i bought this this is way way more um this is a thicker this is right here is way thick no it's a it's a it's a glue and it and basically it's a bonding glue for evergreen plastic is what they say it works very well even on regular styrene like on the kits but it's very it's very thick um so the more you use the more melting that it will do and this right here will start getting harder and harder to find um i can get you can get this at hobby lobby and then with the 40 percent off coupon you know you're you're getting a six dollar bottle of glue for like 390 you know or something like that so i was saving a little bit more money Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of people, Gee, um, I've seen a lot of people use uh, the Revell uh, glue. Um, the Revell glue that we have here in the States is just like a window glue, and, and, and it takes forever. I haven't seen the blue tube that they use. Um, and guys, Randy that's in here, um, Randy is uh, from Puerto Rico, um, so sometimes his English is not going to be so great. Um, so just have patience. 
um, when someone is trying to ask questions or talk to one another. It's great that you guys can all share back and forth as I'm working. So now let's see how we fit this up in here. So that goes up like that. And the lip comes up and out, guys, because of the way this truck is built. It's supposed to set up high like that. But I don't know if the front... Alright, so that's that. Uh, Josh, this is the Hazagawa. Um, let me get the box, buddy. I'll show you the box. Um, this is the, the Nissan Sunny truck. Um, they have a few different years. This right here is the middle one. Um, and it's the long bed deluxe is what they call it. But it's from, it's from Hazagawa. And your kit number is right here it's gonna be that right there now beware because some of the Hazagawa um, nostalgic series or historical car series like this um, some of them are kind of um, toyish they got like all the you know it's all set up for the plastic motors and stuff all right so now that I got that bed set in there I can see a bunch you guys see all those little nuggets in there? I have you have to add all these to that kit. You have to add all, you have to add all these. <laughs> those are going to be Yeah, um Randy, guys, a little just a little backstory. Um Randy don't have a channel. But he's been following me for um, some time. And there's a guy here locally. His name is Jose. And me and Jose, um, we attend the same shows together um, for about six or seven years. And Jose is, um, his English is very broken up. But he's a good guy. He built some awesome models. And he was telling me that um, Randy follows me. And that it would be pretty nice um, that we both knew some guy um, that followed me. And they're both from Puerto Rico. And I just... <laughs> so that that was pretty cool that, you know, it, it is a small world like Randy just said. You know, that one of Randy's friends is somebody I can um, talk to and chat with locally at, at a contest. Alright, so there's that. And it don't look like... What's what's awesome is all this... Hey, what's up, Too Tall? All of this is, is covering. Um, so I don't have to fix nothing. So that's great. Now, these are meant for another project. This right here... These right here are meant... Was supposed to be meant for another project. But... I don't know. Because I don't have much of anything else that... I think right off hand. Hello, Peter. But if you size these up and with the chassis in there, still a little. I have to trim that tire up a little bit. To me, it looks good. It just, uh, um, to me, it looks good. I just, I, I would like to do it a little lower. So I, I probably, I might have to, um, sand down these tires and make a lower profile, um, to make a low profile tire for it. Um, you can get these wheels um, from Hobby Link Japan. Um, some of the stuff that we order um, for Scaled World um, comes from overseas, guys. Um, you have um, 
Hobby Link Japan. Um, there's a few other. Um, you can go straight to Aeroshima and order some wheels. And there's a few other online vendors. Um, there's a guy from Singapore. Um, I can't think of his name offhand. But a lot of these guys, um, he, yeah, eBay has them. Um, Hyro Boy, he'll have these. Um, and and there's in this series here. What is it, Pete? In this series here, I think there's six wheels that are supposed to have um, the big fat. See how fat the back ones are, and how and they're supposed to be the stretch wall tires. I think there's four or six in this series. And uh, and they're all they're they're different size. Uh, Zimmerman does not do these little wheels, uh, John. Um, Zimmerman's wheels are more of a nineteen twenty three inch. These right here are more the fourteen inch. So these right here will be Pacific. Uh, these right here will be more meant for. Um, the tuners and stuff like that. I have this kit out, and I had wheels in it. Let's see what those would look like. This the new kit. Yeah, that's the new kit. Here's the other kit. All right. These right here are bigger wheels. These right here are bigger wheels with smaller tires. Let's see what these would look like. But these right here are meant for my VW build. See, I don't know. And then I had another set. Where'd my gray set go? And then I have another set. Okay, now I made these. I made these some time ago. Um, guys, you know another thing that's great about um, YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that. Um, looking through, going through the model community and the and and the way people can get set up. Like I told you, Randy is from Puerto Rico. Um, Car Dreams and and Styrene. Um, is it Germany? I know I got one follower from Estonia. That book. Look at Bruce's ear. Yeah, it's got a raw spot in it. Then I, I got these that I made off of an old set of Aeroshima. Uh, I cut them off the back and made them thinner. Austria, that's it. Yeah. And then, like our friend Benny Mack, you know, he's from Australia. Um, you know, you just got people from around the world that we could communicate um, with, with no problem, you know, because of the way the internet is. See, I like these, but these might be, these might be too big. Yeah, I got to do 13. I think you're right, Steve. I think I need to go with the smaller, with the smaller wheel. Mm. Darn it. We'll have to we'll have to dig through and see what we got. Now it comes with the wheels that this kit comes with are super little. Look how little they are. You know you're going to compare. You know, so those right there would be way too small. And look, they're even they're even smaller. These right here might be if these are supposed to be a 14. These right here might be the 13 inch. Dude, what if I cut these in half? Cut these in half and put these in the back of them. <laughs> yeah, they look great, um, Guy, but I think they're too big. I think I'm going to have to do, like, like Steve suggests, um, either use these wheels, just make the tires a little smaller. 
but these are good looking wheel and tire. I don't want to run them. They're very small and flexible. Um, let me see. Let me get out. Man. Now, let me see. And this is what I do some nights, guys. I just sit here and test wheels. Some nights we're not even building. We're just sitting here testing wheels all night. So you think, is that... Let me see. That's a little smaller. Just throw some D's on it. Hold on. I got to do it because of Lou. <laughs> do what? I know, Boo Boo. But you're not going to go upstairs. My boy Lou. <laughs> My boy Lou wants some D's on. <laughs> oh, shit. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I, I dropped my camera mount, Lou. Get the... <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna let me adjust this, guys. Sorry about that. You keep saying poor connection. Oh, I'll pull me. <laughs> uh, I've, I was aiming. Yeah, I can't do that to this truck. Uh, the plans that we have for this truck in scaledworld.net, this, we'll have to save these wheels, guys, for something else. Um, just a hindsight. In my lowrider days, I do love the lowriders, and I build a lot of them. Guys, I probably got one, two, I probably got 30 set of wire wheels from Pegasus um, as we speak. Um, I got wire wheels for days. Um, <laughs> so pretty soon we'll do a build for scaledworld.net um, that is a lowrider. We've talked about it. He's mentioned that he wanted a lowrider or two. Um, but I, I can't do it to this sweet little truck. <laughs> yeah. We'll get one. Oh, thanks. Thanks, World of War. Uh, World of Cars. Um, how have you been? I haven't seen you online for a while, bud. I hope you're well. So what I think I need to do, if you look, some of the guys that are in the are into the tuners, I don't like to look myself, um, but they're running their stretch balls, make it into a monster truck, Gee. Gee said, let's make it into a monster truck. Holy smokes, guys. Oh, I started working on this motor today, guys, for the low-tech tip thing on the, um, Thursday Tech How Twos, and I was showing the guys how to use beads um, for fittings and how to use aluminum cans for wire looms. Um, I have to rebuild... Um, yeah, Skylar, this is why I love doing this. It's great fun. Um, you know, you see me give you a lot of a lot a lot of grief and your live show, um, and I get just I get what I'm owed in this show, buddy. <laughs> um, well, let's get back on let's get back on track. 
Let's get back on track. Oh, hi, bud. So, a lot of this, guys, now you see here, I got the tire um, squished up to the edge of the rim. That's the way I like them. And, but then you see you got this great big old leftover wall here. Well, some of these guys are putting the tire way back and they're running a wild, uh, big lip like that. Um, it's a look that I'm not into. It's something that I, I don't really uh, care for. So I think what I need to do is you I'll put I'll put it down flat like this on the table and I'll make I'll make me a mark and I'll probably cut these up and shallow it. I have enough room in the back here. It's not going to mess with the front of the wheel. Um, and then the back the back is the same way. Um, it's a it's a trend um, that the, some of the younger Japanese crowd is doing um, over in Japan now um, to where they're getting the smallest tire they can on the car. And once it mounts up, I mean, they're rolling their tires like this on some of them. You know, the way the camber, but then the bead is like way, way out here. Um, there's a certain style of car called it, like in the lowrider community, and in the hot rod community, you know, where we have street machines, gassers, pro stock, pro street, um, pro mods. Um, well, they have a they have a series of cars over there. Um, like when when you look at the C1 box kit, it is calling um, this trans kit. No, I forget where my box is. It is calling it. I have to. Oh, here it is. See, like right now. Um, they call it rice. Uh, uh, Hakasuka. Um, you know, because it's the style of transforming. Um, this ain't the only Hakasuka um, style design. Um, you guys remember the RX2 that I built for Scaled World? Where they're taking that front end and they're putting it on the, the new... Um, Calis, uh, the new uh, Mazda RX-7s, um, and you know they're just transforming, and and that's and that's a style that they call over there. Good night, Gary. I hope you have a good day, bud, and thanks for following me again. And then, so what I'll do. They have some cool cars though too, John. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll have to cut these off. And to see if I can't get a better fit. Because right now, um, the backs are a little too wide. Um, they're not wanting me to tuck them in. So I'm going to try to get them in there to tuck. But I need to trim off this back side. Where you at, bud? Right here. And then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to switch gears here and take my saw. Okay. Yeah, but is that the stance, the, the, um, whatchamacallit, the camber is what they're doing on the wheels, right, um, um, Ajax? I don't know what the, the style, uh, a bu busaki or or boko sako or something they have a funny brand name to it like we would have you know like a classical lowrider or old school a bomb you know that's how me and lou um when we when we talk about lowriders in the in the environment me and lou grew up in um your old schools would be like your 70s through um, 80 style um, low riders and then your bombs are your 50s and older and then you know you have your luxuries would be which would be um, some of your Cadillacs and you know these guys are fixing up Lexuses and stuff like now in the low rider community hello dish chicken Doritos Doritos are pretty good but I don't like them soggy, so you have to eat them before they get wet. You're going to have to eat them when they're still crunchy. They taste better. Um, I let... Well, I shouldn't say this out loud, but I let the kids lick all the salt off my Doritos one day, and the chips didn't taste the same. 
So I, I would recommend eating the Doritos um, while they're still got seasoning on them. All right. <laughs> I try. You know what? Something else too. Uh, don't do ditch chicken. Don't try to eat Doritos or Dorito tacos when you're taking a shower. That really, that really ruins the enjoyment of them too. Because then they get really wet. All right, so here's what I, here's what I did real quick. I just cut that lip off the back and see how the tire is, is flesh in there now. You still get the fat, you still get the stretched wall look, but I just took off all that piece of plastic, and then it's gonna fit up in there much better. Well, they have to put bug, bug spray when you're being a pest, you know. Luckily, I can't uh, do bug spray over the camera, you know what I mean? I don't want to be rude or nothing, but when you're a pest, sometimes you need some, some bug off spray, you know. Here, here, another thing, just why, you know, it's on my mind. I, you know, we're focused on working on this, but a few months ago, I brought up the notion, there's a few guys that I follow or had followed on Facebook and YouTube that now have went to Patreon, and they're doing it at, I'll get it in a minute, but, um, added you to my group from Luigi. Okay. And, um, some of the stuff that, um, they use their Patreon for is, um, you know, personal or, or what have you, you know, um, the time they take to buy cameras and do all their editing and, you know, editing program. At one point, I thought about doing the Patreon and going about doing reviews and then after we reviewed that, um, do a giveaway or whatnot. But I didn't want my I didn't want my subscribers happen to pay, and I couldn't find a way just to you know if, if if I needed something like that done, you know I would set up a PayPal or something for you guys. But you guys have been great. Um, I have some good followers, some you know reliable people that I can count on, and I built some great friendships. So, and that that I wanted to thank you guys with everybody leaning towards going to paid coverage or something like that. Um, I'd hate to lose you guys because I had an idea for something. Look, Pete. Um, I cut those plastic rings off just enough. Here's a little bit, uh, just enough to set them back in there, even with the body. That might be the way we go with this one. Still a little high in the rear end. So I'll see what I can do about getting that set down a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to have to look. We'll look in here because this right here is solid, guys. If you look, this right here is a solid piece. So I think... What I need to do is probably bring my Dremel in a little bit more and try to take the height up. Leave a little bit of an edge there 
but but bring the height up. Thanks, guys. Let's see, I need to put my Dremel back in there. How you doing, Punch? Uh, thanks for joining us earlier, bud. Thanks for linking. Um, thanks for linking that uh, other picture you posted up earlier, um, up on Facebook. Guys, I'm gonna turn the Dremel on real quick. Like I suggested earlier guys when you guys are working on stuff like this just take a little bit off at a time um, don't go in there gung-ho and you know you could run it damn Pete <sighs> oh thanks Todd um, guys tool Taz is with us now um, He's our friend Todd. He is also another one of the gentlemen that joined Skyler and um, James Young Model Master for the Live Fridays. Um, it's a great group of a bunch of guys that get together for a few hours. Um, they talk about anything just like I am here modeling. Um, oh yeah, Pete, look at that bud. Just that much of a difference. I still, uh, I still don't know if I want to, um, still don't know if I want to take the low profile of the tire down, but I, I like the stance now. <laughs> Damn it, Julian! <laughs> you know, that's alright, Dish, because I like the Trailer Park Boys, and Bubbles would happen to be my favorite. Um, I like the episode... Um, where he put all the sheds together, and he had his little hotel for cats. <laughs> Thanks, Strut. And and Struts is also another guy. Uh, it's a, it's an honor to have all you guys um, that get together yourself. Um, uh, spend some time to come over here and check me out. What's up, Styrene Monkey? Um, how are you been, bud? I've seen you um, come and go here lately. It's great to have you posting um, back up. Leave the tires alone, Bill. Well, we'll see. Pete is going to text me some pictures in a little bit. He said he has two more sets. Um, I'll check out and see what he has. Um, but either... Uh, they'll be in the same series as these. They just have a different. They'll just have a different face. Like right now, this series here, it, they're called the Techno Phantoms, and um, they'll have some other ones. Which are you talking about? This truck, Tool Taz, or are you working on something that you're wanting um, um, some input on, Bud? <clears throat> now is the yay is the is the yayo one um, P, is the Yayo one the solid center? Look like a center line? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I miss Florida Styrene. I wish I was there every day. Oh, I got it now. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. 
Wish there was a way I could use these little boogers, though. Hey, Punch, don't these look like the escort wheels? And then right here, these right here are the stock ones. Oh, okay. Um, really, I haven't changed nothing on the rear end punch. It's just still all factory. Um, later, Dave. All I did is built the bed um, so I could get the chassis in there so I could start working on. Um, when I put the flares on, yeah, similar to mini lights. Okay, that's the name I was thinking. Um, when I put the flares on, punch, I had to radius the plastic body. Come on, focus. So basically all I did is put those flares on, put that front on. <clears throat> now I don't know where the grill's at. I got too much stuff out. Well, I must have misplaced the grill right off. I need to get this bench cleaned up. But yeah, that's what me and um that's what me and Pete was talking about earlier on the direction that the hood should open up. But here would be the here's the rest of the front end punch. I got it on. Yeah, I got to I got to take a break anyway. The kids will be home from school in just a second anyway. So today's pretty much done. Um, P is Pedro Morales, this chicken. Um, he is the owner and publisher of ScaledWorld.net. Um, go over there once we're done here, bud. Go over there and check out um, what uh, Scaled World um, does. And you'll get some great inspiration on building. Yeah, it's a nice fit. I I made some bigger gaps punch because of the paint and clear coat that I use, but it, yeah, it's a it's a pretty it's a really nice fit. Um, we don't want to hide the grill and everything, Bill, because that's one one reason for the swap is to get that skyline front end on here. So we don't want to we don't want to hide it. So we're gonna go probably this way. Well, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, you know, I got to size up some wheels. Um, we'll work. We'll probably work on the stance and stuff um, next time. Probably won't have a chance to get back to you guys until next week. So thank you for joining me. Um, have a great day. <laughs> Later, dish. <laughs> Thanks, Jody. Thank you all for all your support um, from across the world. You guys really um, are, are great guys to take your time out and spend it with me and to watch what I do um, and like I said this is a build for a really good friend of mine um, I enjoy building them he enjoys owning them so as soon as this is done I'm glad you guys are enjoying what me and Pedro are doing together and um, don't forget please go over there and check out some of the other channels of the guys who have joined us tonight and um, don't forget check out scaledworld.net um, check out Rattle Can Shenanigans channel, Styrene Monkey, uh, Jaw Performance. Um, they all have great channels. They all have great content. And you'll see the diversity um, that we all have within the same hobby. And um, it's great knowing that you guys are, are all my friends and, and we all share the same passion. So this is Minnie. Um, we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Mm.